Thank you for tuning in to Make Medical Easy. Today our topic of discussion is myocardial infarction. I am Samriddhi Keshka, your educator and a pre-final year medical student. So before we uh, dive into the depths of myocardium and its uh, uh, horrific infarction, let us fir first acquaint ourselves with certain terms that we would uh, be mentioning in the definition of myocardial infarction. So what exactly is infarction? It is a localized area of ischemic necrosis which is caused by occlusion of either arterial blood supply or venous drainage. The process of producing infarct is known as myocardial infarction. Now, it is worth mentioning over here that myocardial infarction is a type of coagulative necrosis of the cardiac muscle and is due to prolonged severe ischemia. Now, gaur kare, uh, there are certain words which I have mentioned. Ischemia, necrosis, coagulative ischemia. This particular slide ke through, we are just knowing what is infarction. But this slide is not telling us ke necrosis kya hai ischemia kya hai and coagulative necrosis kya hai. So let us know them first. So what exactly is necrosis? Cell prepared hi nahi tha ki abhi mujhe mar jana hai. Lekin cell death ho jati hai. So accidental and unregulated form of cell death. In contrast to apoptosis in which the sequence and the steps via which the cell dies is pre-decided and is regulated. And ischemia Ischemia is a very common term and uh, I hope that we are all familiar hai, that is decreased flow of blood to a tissue or an organ. Now, coagulative necrosis. This is a type of necrosis where the morphology, the outline of the cell is still somewhat retained. We can still identify that this is what cell which has died. Many a times if the cell dies, it loses, you know, its properties by which we can identify ki konsa cell tha, what the origin of the cell was what. We cannot identify it many a times, but in case of coagulative necrosis, it is maintained. Obviously now not for eternity, only a few days, okay. Now, uh, when I discuss uh, with you the microscopic changes that take place in myocardial infarction, I would tell you that in the acute phase, before the neutrophils have even come, it is the eosinophilia that is seen. So what is the reason? The reason by which we explain, you know, the, uh, the initial eosinophilia, even before the neutrophilia, uh, neutrophilia, is cytoplasmic change in necrosis. And we identify it by eosinophilia. Over here, uh, I would expect, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry for that. Uh, over here, I would expect that you know what are the what are the nuclear changes, pycnosis, Karyolysis and karyorexis are the nuclear changes that take place in uh, necrosis. So now let us come to our topic proper. Yes, here it is. So the changes during myocardial infarction. So shurwati bara ghante mein, initial 12 hours mein, hum koi apparent gross change identify nahi kar paate hain. And if we want to do it, we have to use here a stain, a histochemical stain called as triphenyl tetrazoleum chloride and this guy this stain it identifies in two to three hours after the myocardial infarction has began so the non-infarcted area it depends it uh, it appears brick red the infarcted area it appears unstained okay and the old infarct appears white and glistening okay and what is the reason the ldh lactate dehydrogenase enzyme which leaks out of these dead cells so if it doesn't leak out the cell remains red in color if it does leak you know the infarcted area it appears pale and unstained it doesn't take the stain whereas old infarcts they appear white okay then uh, you can see the picture over here it is taken from robbins very well explained uh, this is self-explanatory the red area is the normal area and the white area on the other hand is the infarct okay Okay, so now let us proceed. Ab, 12 hante tak ki toh ghatna ho gai. Uske baad kya hota hai? Uske baad, hume kuch changes nazar aane lagte hain. 3 se 5 din mein, jo area hai, wo kafi mottled dikhta hai, necrotic region kafi. Aur uske jo uh, boundary hoti hai na, it is demarcated. Well, very, very well demarcated. And it, uh, you know, it appears hyperemic. The zone is hyperemic. Because the granulation tissue, you know, the formation has just began. Thik hai? 
अभी 10 से 2 वीक्स के अंदर क्या होता है द मार्जिन जो कि काफी वेल डिफाइंड थी अभी वो सॉफ्ट हो जाती है बिकॉज ऑफ द वस्कुलराइजेशन विच टेक्स प्लेस इन द ग्रेनुलेशन टिश्यू एंड आफ्टर टू वीक्स वॉट हैपन्स इज दू नो द ओल्ड इनफैक्ट इट अपियर्स फॉर्म पेल ग्रे एंड कॉन्ट्रेक्टेड Lastly, what happens is a fibrous scar is what remains. Uh, is what you know remains. So this is just a table for your reference, which you can go through after the end of the video. I will uh, leave the link to this uh, presentation in the description box. Then there are some microscopic changes, which is more important from pathology point of view. So what happens in the initial? Like I told you, ठीक है? शुरू के जो 12 से 18 घंटे होते हैं, उसमें हमें eosinophilia देखने को मिलता है. उसका कारण होता है, like I told you, the cytoplasmic changes which take place in uh, the the cytoplasmic changes which take place in necrosis. Like I have already told you. Okay. Then then there are you know on the in the microscope under the microscope, we can also find you know these wavy fibers which which are seen. Okay. Okay. So so far so good. Then after twelve after twenty four hours, what happens is the polymorphonuclear cells, the neutrophils, you know, which is the hallmark of acute inflammation. That is what we get to see. Okay, and then what happens within one to three days, we can see acute inflammatory reaction, you know, taking place, and the you know coagulation necrosis. Meanwhile, is continuing itself. Okay, then three to seven days. What happens now? The macrophages come into the picture. They come, and now you know with them, uh, with them coming begins the uh, formation of the granulation tissue. Okay, then one to two weeks. What happens is a well-established, highly vascularized granulation tissue is now formed. Okay, now the fibroblasts will do their job. They will first proliferate, and while they are doing so, they will also, uh, you know, continue depositing collagen. ओके टू टू एट वीक्स में क्या हो जाता है कि कोलाजन काफी ज्यादा बढ़ जाता है काफी ज्यादा और जो सेलुलैरिटी है जैसे जैसे कोलाजन का अमाउंट बढ़ता है वैसे वैसे जो सेलुलैरिटी है वो डिक्रीज होती है इन इमेजेस में कुछ डिस्क्राइब करने का नहीं है इसलिए मैंने एक्सप्लेन नहीं करी हूँ दे आर सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी यू जस्ट हैव टू सी दैम ओके सो ओके या एंड देन At the end of two months, what happens is कि अब हमारे पास lastly again dense collagenous scar रह जाता है So this was all about the topic. यहाँ से इतना ही आता है This is exactly what you have to write, which is uh, showing in the table. Uh, this is basically a sub part in your long question that you get in the university. They will ask you what are the markers. You know, first you will have to mention the markers and then you know the definition and then the pathogenesis. And this is just a sub part of the long question where you mention the gross and the microscopic features that you can appreciate in myocardial infarction. So here, you know, we come to the end of this uh, discussion today, and uh, I would like to. Uh, यू नो टेल यू अगर आपको ये प्रेजेंटेशन पसंद आई होगी दिस इज मेड बाई अ जूनियर ऑफ माइंड आई हैवेंट मेड दिस प्रेजेंटेशन बट दिस इज अ लवली प्रेजेंटेशन एंड विथ वेल डिस्क्रिप्टिव डायग्राम्स टेबल्स एंड अ फ्लो चार्ट सो द लिंक टू विच आई विल लीव इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड यू कैन व्यू इट एनी टाइम थैंक यू सो मच